Today I'm going to be changing the oil on my 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. We got a lot of great videos coming up ahead. First thing you're going to want to do is get your car safely up on ramps. Then you're going to just open up the driver's side door and you'll see the hood release latch right on the bottom there. You can see it says to pull two times, so you pull once and twice. Then you can open up the hood. There's no hood release switch. Then you're going to prop up the hood where it is necessary. And I'm using a full synthetic 5W20 and a genuine Ford Motocraft filter. Now you're going to need a T30 um, Torx bit in order to take down the shield underneath the car. So as you can see, there's a bunch of bolts underneath the car. And you can just take your T30 and there's four up front. As you can see, me taking off right now. And not only that, there is these little clips too which need to be taken off. I use a flathead screwdriver to do that. Then you could just work your way around the shroud, getting off the rest of the T30 um, Torx screws. You see I dropped my camera there, but no worries. And let's see, I think if I'm not mistaken, there's about 10 screws to take down. And once you get them all down, the entire shroud will drop down and you'll be able to access the drain screw as well as the oil filter and anything else you might need to service while underneath your vehicle. See I'm almost at the last clip right here and you can see the entire thing drops down on top of me there. And I could lift it up and move it out of the way. So right there is the oil drain plug. And you can see I am using a 16 millimeter uh, hex socket and that fits on the oil drain plug just fine once you get it on there just crack it loose and then you can further take it down with your fingers making sure not to drop it into any oil collection container you may have underneath the oil pan otherwise you'll be fishing for a drain plug which really isn't so fun so once I let it drip dry for a little bit, as you can see, um, I'm just preparing the oil filter to be um, placed up onto the vehicle. Um, all the tools and supplies in this video will be listed in the description for you to take a look at and, you know, you know, purchase and everything. So once I have the oil drained out, I'm just going to put right back on the plug. I'm going to hand tighten it first so I don't strip out any th threads. And I am going to tighten it right back up with my socket wrench. Once it's tor torqued up correctly, we can move on to getting the area cleaned up. You can see with a little paper towel and we can move on to getting the oil filter down. Now this oil filter is really tight. And I had to use these oil filter pliers in order to get it down. I'm not sure why it was put on so tight. I'm assuming because it was the original OEM filter from the factory. And it was just on there extremely tight. I couldn't get it off. And I even asked for help and uh, my uh, helper could not get it off either. Once we get it off, we can see the OEM filter is way smaller than the filter listed in the owner's manual. You see it's really little and the FL910 is the one that is listed in the owner's manual. So that's the one we're going to put on. Going to clean off the area. We're going to make sure we lubricate the oil seal so we have a good seal once we put it up against the uh, engine block. And make sure we seat it correctly. Make sure there's no seal on the engine block. You don't want to have double seals unless you'll have a big leak. Make sure we put it on there, but not as tight as it was before because there's no reason to have to use an oil filter wrench every time I service my vehicle. It just needs to be on there. It doesn't need to be wrenched on whatsoever. There we are, just torquing it up, cleaning up any mess. Now it's just time to putting on the shroud. Now the shroud comes and gets put back on the exact same way we take it off. 
There's a bunch of the torque screws and the little plugs we put in. Once you go around the entire vehicle, putting on all the torque screws, everything you have to do underneath the car has been done. So now we're back up to the top of the car and we could take off the oil uh, drink, uh, you know, cover plug and put in a funnel. Now be careful not to spill everything all over your engine, but once you fill up your engine with the correct amount of motor oil, this motor should be taking around five quarts of 5W20 uh, full synthetic. You, we could put back on the oil cap right there, making sure it's nice and tight. And we can go ahead and close the hood. And then we could go ahead and dispose of any of the old oil, putting it right back into the container, just as shown. Make sure not to spill anything, and make sure to dispose of your oil properly, of course. Now we can check the level of the oil once it's been running in the engine. Make sure you take out your dipstick and you wipe it off clean, because the oil might have splashed up everywhere on the dipstick while the engine was running, of course. Then put your dipstick right back into the engine and seat it. Then you could take it right back out, and you'll see exactly how this oil dipstick works. It's a little different than what you may be used to. As you can see, it's like a weird cable. There's also a weird end on it, but as long as you see that there is oil on the dots in the middle of the dipstick, remember the oil, as the oil gets hot, it'll look like there's more oil, and when there's, uh, you know, when the oil's cold, it'll look like less oil. So you can see I'm checking it once again, and you can see that the oil is within the correct range, which means we filled up the engine with just enough oil to be able to operate correctly. Now, putting it back in, make sure it's seated, and we're good to clean up any oil that might have dripped on our engine cover. And then, of course, ultimately, we could close up the hood, and the job has been finished. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope it helped you. Please leave a thumbs up. And please comment with any suggestions for future videos or any suggestions whatsoever. Please subscribe if you want to see anything like this in the future. It helps my channel out a lot and I would really appreciate it. Thank you.